Hi, welcome. I know I haven't been in a whole lot of videos recently. You might have seen me in the banana brandy video that we did. I was sort of uh, my dad's sidekick in that one. I'm going to be branching out and not just be doing the video work for our channel, but doing some more of the uh, informational videos that might be a little bit different to our channel. Hopefully I can bring some more entertaining stuff to it as well. So today we're going to be joining Raven Larkham, and she's done some uh, interesting photography on uh, insects actually at her university. She has some exhibits downstairs that she would love for us to take a look at, so let's go check that out. So, Raven, hi, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Uh, pretty good. It was uh, difficult and nerve-wracking to get all this uh, s stuff set up, but now that it's up and running, uh, I'm relieved. So it's yeah. good to get to talk to you finally about this stuff. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. So uh, just to start off with, if you could tell the camera basically, what made you interested in this and start okay. taking pictures? Yeah. Um, my name is Raven Larkham, as we said, um, and I'm a rising junior at St. Lawrence University. Uh, as a sophomore, I decided that I wanted to get involved with research at my school, uh, so I talked to my advisor, Carl McKnight, and we decided that it would be the best to work with his son, actually, who is an entomologist, um, who just actually got his dissertation or his PhD. Um, and so I started looking at the wing interference patterns in lazy apogon robber fly wings, which are these really cool, uh, stable rainbow patterns in clear wings that only show up over black backgrounds. So as a biology and art double major, this really just, you know, caught my interest and caught my attention. And um, so we wrote the proposal, it got approved, um, and I spent the summer at St. Lawrence University doing this research. Um, and then in my free time, I decided to start looking through my professor's personal collection of insects from his um, dissertation travels. And I found some really incredible insects that he had collected over the years. And I started to look at them under our microscope because, you know, I wanted to look at them closely. And I realized that they were just the, some of the most beautiful things that I've ever seen. So I started to document that. Um, I just thought it was amazing and I wanted to share it with people and hopefully my show kind of you know changes the way that people perceive insects so that they're not seen as these scary and terrible things but actually as really useful and really beautiful creatures so yeah yeah that's really interesting so at your uh, university what uh, is your bio lab like I know we <coughs> sort of had a lab tour of our shop but it's mostly just a woodworking shop and everything so mm -hmm after getting into St. Lawrence and everything, which congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. What was your bio lab like? What was your first impressions of it? Um, did you get to see it sort of before you sort of got to pick out that school? Or mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, our science hall is actually really new. It's mm -hmm. called Johnson Hall of Science. Um, and since it's a new building, it's state of the art. It's, it has green technology. Um, it's a very clean and modern. Um, and all along the hallways, they actually have posters of research that students have done. And so when I was touring there, I realized, you know, this is a school that really supports undergraduate research, and that's what I was really interested in getting involved with. Um, and so, you know, that was my first impression, and then I quickly realized how awesome and organized it was and talked to my advisor, and yeah. That's great. Okay. Ended up in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if I could just jump right in, what was your first project that you had to sort of that you were assigned with? Um, well, I think my first project was probably back in general biology, the class, um, okay. and yeah, we yeah. would just we would um, go out on. We have this thing called the Kipchak, and it's like this trail um, by the fields, and we were looking at trees. Actually, um, okay. I don't really remember the specifics of it, but 
I know we are outside and I love that idea of, you know, spending time outside and also right, like okay. learning more about things around us. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. So what did, uh, what were your thoughts on your uh, professor? Well, any first impressions? <laughs> well, I would say that my advisor is kind of a goofball, okay, um, yeah. but in a really great way. Um, he's really passionate about biology and he has okay. um, some really, he's done some really amazing things. Um, in ecology and mycology mm. actually he's okay. really well known for his mushroom work I, I took an ecology class with him my sophomore fall and immediately i had decided that i wanted him to be my advisor because he seemed um i don't know just kind of out there enough that i okay. could you yeah, know yeah. get along with him really well and you know i think we had a lot in common and um, the more i talked to him the more i realized that he actually has a lot of interest in art as well as biology okay. um yeah. And so, you know, as a double major, that really drew me into him um, specifically because the other professors are very science-based, not to say that they're exclusively science-based, but he seemed to be the most willing to explore um, the, the crossover between the two fields, and that's what I'm really interested okay. in. So. Yeah, yeah no, very interesting. Yeah. How did you design the canvases? What made you think to sort of take pictures of basically these insects that you were doing? Um, actually, this was a result of just me being bored in the lab after hours. Yeah, um, that's probably I, the best way. Yeah, well, I mean, I just wanted to learn more about the, the insects in his personal collection, and I thought they were really beautiful, and I wanted to look at them more closely. Mm -hmm. And um, then I just I started noticing little details about them that just were really beautiful to me. And... Um, I started documenting them with um, my the the labs like a MZ125 okay, microscope. Yeah. I was um, going to ask you about the microscope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a pretty great thing. Um, and yeah, I was just I was just looking at them under there for fun, and then I just decided to document them so I could you know send pictures to my mom, and yeah, okay. show her what I was working on, mm -hmm. um, and then it just kind of evolved into this this art project um, that I would work on in my free time this summer. Um, which I think a lot of my peers thought I was a little crazy for wanting to spend even more time in the lab. I think my advisors did too. But it was, it was really great to, to process the, the scientific aspect of my summer in a more creative way as well, I think. And also I learned a lot while I was doing this project. Um, yeah. So it was, yeah, it was really great. It was really fun to, to work on. Yeah, that's um, nice. Yeah. And you make a little extra money on the side. The goal of it was really just to, you know, like, show people that they're not these terrifying, creepy, crawly things. Um, right. yeah, okay. And I think a lot of people responded pretty well to it. There yeah. were a lot of people who came in hating bugs. Um, at least, you know, I got some of them to be like, oh, okay, well, you know, yeah, right. I can see how they're beautiful, too. I uh, definitely really loved the, the art opening because people were like, so tell me about this. And I was like, oh, boy, can I tell you all about this? <laughs> Yeah, I so saw you're talking to a bunch of people down, uh, downstairs when you had that exhibit. Yeah, yeah, it was really, people had a lot of really interesting questions. And, mm. yeah. um, what do you think that was the most interesting one that you got, like, or at least one that you weren't oh, expecting? Geez. Um, I have no idea, honestly. It's kind of a blur yeah, of just right. me being really excited to talk about something that I care that much about. Mm. Um, I know I asked a couple dumb questions, especially about the hair on them and everything. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't you ask if... Um, what the hair was for, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. It was like to it. keep off mites and other yeah, things, and right, also right. like for sensing things around them and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have to say, like my first impressions, if someone uh, someone was to explain to me that they had taken pictures of some bugs on uh, some needles or something like yeah. that up close and personal, I wouldn't have thought that would look very interesting. But after seeing your large canvas size, there is so much detail. Once you zoom down, uh, it looks amazing. Um, Thank you. And all the colors and yeah, all yeah. the different refractions through their wings. It especially looks more interesting than this. Yeah, that's horseshoe a, it's crab. a horseshoe crab. Yeah, yeah right. I found it on the beach when I was like 12. Um, yeah, okay. I've always had a thing for bio yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> being yeah, outside and finding weird ago. things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, sort of the artsy side of this, I know your uh, mom is sort of into the sort of decorative... She was into photography, photography and marketing and, and web design. Yeah. Right. yeah, is that, do you think you could sort of like that rubbed off on you and sort of yeah. wanting to get into the art side of the yeah, well, bio it's, field? Yeah, well it's funny because most of my family are artists, you know, all of the family mm -hmm. members are 
um, to some degree or another have experience with art. Um, my grandmother is an art teacher. My mom mm. makes art and designs things for her, her living, for her job. Um, and my aunt's a tattoo artist and yeah, okay, my yeah. every, every person in my family at some point has picked up something um, like that. And I just kind of, growing up, it was really um, encouraged to just like draw all the time. And I mean, I, w I have like boxes stored under my bed still to this day <laughs> of drawings that like I had done throughout my childhood. Um, and it's so much fun like going through those and seeing mm -hmm. what I was like interested in and stuff. Um, yeah, right. So definitely growing up in an art, um, artsy family and learning all about that. It was also really nice having an art teacher as a grandmother because, mm -hmm. you know, I, if I had a question about technique or design or anything, I could always just go to her or anyone else in the family, really. Um, mm -hmm. But my grandfather was actually, he's a, he's a biologist. Mm -hmm. And so when I was growing up and I would spend time with my grandparents, I would go out and catch frogs with him or like ca uh, catch tadpoles and like raise okay. them in aquariums. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, when we were done setting all of that up, my grandmother and I would like draw them or like talk about them and look at like so how they're designed and everything. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I've pretty much spent my, I, I spent my entire childhood kind of trying to merge these two and I think right. there's a lot to, to be found there. Yeah, definitely. Right. Okay, so uh, what are your uh, future plans? Are you going to stick with uh, biology or are you going to move more into this sort of art field? Well, when I first went to St. Lawrence, I thought that I was just going to be a bio major. Um, I was pretty set on just, you know, like keeping art as a hobby and, you know, just keeping them separate. Um, but I realized that that's not really possible for me, I don't think. Um, even this summer, I said I was going to be focused on just bio, and then all of a the sudden, there's this art show that's happening. Right. Um, so I think I'm going to continue with both as much as I can um, mm -hmm. and try to find more um, overlap between the two, um, especially in research. Um, like with the, the wing interference patterns that I was looking at this summer, mm. um, it was really, really interesting to look at patterns and map out patterns and colors and um, try to figure out how those are significant in a biological sense. No, and it's also very related to our channel too, so this is the perfect topic for this. Awesome. I'm glad I'm, glad I'm the, the fit, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's hard to find that in our area too, especially oh, if you're yeah, in New England. Oh yeah, it's so rural. And, yeah, you guys are going right. to have to travel at some point for this. Yeah, right, definitely. Right can't just keep going to local places. Yeah, yeah. Branch out. Yeah. Right. Some business trips and just yeah, like right, go yeah. to like Hawaii or something be like, oh, there's science here. Okay. <laughs> Deductible. So uh, do you have any uh, future projects sort of like the one you did downstairs, another art scene, or are you going to keep making more of these exactly? For future art plans, I'm just continuing with photography and you know I'm gonna try and branch out into other media too mm. um, I'd like to keep the bio crossover I think that's mm. probably my strong suit just because I do I am learning so much about it that it's an easy way for me to like process and remember more things yeah. um, so I'll probably stick with that thing and as as for research um, continuing with wing interference patterns mm. um, and yeah, hopefully turning that into a senior project. Um, maybe research next summer, but we'll see what happens with it. So yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so if anybody wanted to say get in contact with you, because I know you have some of them up for sale still, mm -hmm. um, which is nice. It's yeah. Like um, email is probably the best way okay, to reach email. me. If you look down in the description, you'll see uh, her email there. Uh, there might be a couple more pictures that you can look at if you want to see some more of her work. Uh, they won't be too well taken though, so you can't just download her work. Well, great. great. Yeah, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thank um, you for having me. Yeah, no, it was good to get some variety on this channel. So. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Yeah, no problem. Okay, okay. cool. Nice. <laughs>